Okay, um, hello everyone. Okay, so let's talk about multi-line comments. All right, so multi-line comments are also just comments, okay? They are just used to document your code and they are ignored by the compiler, okay? They are not part of your, your code. They are not run as part of your code. All right, so this is how, let's see how it works, right? To start a multi-line comment, okay? A multi-line comment basically has an opening, okay, and a closing, uh, an opening symbol and a closing symbol. And so the way you start multi-line comment is with the symbol forward slash asterisk this okay together is the opening they have to be together no space this is how you start a multi-line comment and so i can type regular stuff like right and then it close i have to close it with the opposite of the opening right the opposite of it which is an asterisk and a forward slash so it opens with a forward slash and an asterisk and then it closes with an asterisk and a forward slash what this means is with a single line comment, I have to precede every line with a two forward slashes. But with multi line comments, anything that goes in between the opening and the closing becomes a comment. So I can keep typing. I can type a whole block of code and say my name is blah blah. Right? I just, I just, I just. This is just random. I can keep typing, and all of that becomes a comment as long as they are in between the opening and closing symbols of the multi of multi line comments right anything that c that comes after the closing or anything that comes before the opening is not a comment anymore with this if we didn't have multi line comments then this is how we would write something like this right with single line comments we would have to precede every line with forward slashes and sometimes you know if you if you really have something a lot to write multi line comments are the best so you'd have to, if you wanted to use a single line comment, you'd have to precede every line with um, four slashes. If you don't, then it doesn't become a comment anymore. But if you have a lot of things to write like this, you don't have to precede them with four slashes. If you can just surround, you can just surround them with the opening and closing of multi-line, um, opening and closing symbols of multi-line comment. All right. So if you wanted to write something like a block of comments, multi-line comments are the best, right? They have to be in between it. So anywhere from after the, the opening symbol all the way to right before the closing symbol that's that that counts that's in between the two opening basically the opening and closing symbols and so they, they become comments it doesn't matter even if you write multiple line comments this way right this is the opening this is the closing all it cares is whatever is in between it okay it becomes a comment it doesn't matter it will be inconvenient to just use this, right, just for one line. If you want just one line, you can use a four, um, the single line comment, two forward slashes. But you can also do this. You're not stopped, you know. But then I can hit enter, right? I can hit enter, hit enter again, and continue typing because I'm still in, in between, okay? I'm still in between the opening and closing symbols for multi-line comments. And so these are, these are multi-line comments, and it helps because it helps when you have a block of comments to write. You have like a... Uh, a pe uh, something to really describe your code and it's long you can use multi line comments to do that and these are single line comments all right so we'll, we'll see more examples of these um if if we write our programs and we just want to you know see how it works um in the next video we will talk about documentation comments and they're a bit special we'll have we'll see an overview and then we'll use them even more when we get to methods and and all that all right, if you have any questions, please comment down below and I'll do everything to respond to them. Thank you very much for watching. Take care of yourselves. Have a good night. Have a good sleep. Have a nice time. Have a nice day. And I'll see you next time with the next video. All right then. Bye-bye.